Over the next two weeks, Haiyan juggles her full-time job and her newborn baby with researching solutions that could help to get Emma writing and drawing again. So I met with this really interesting Oxford professor of physics who I was chatting with about this particular challenge with Emma. Haiyan experiments with pens that are adapted to reduce tremors, but they're not quite good enough for what Emma needs. So she starts developing her own ideas. I've got a whole bunch of experiments to try out. She's invited Emma to her office in Cambridge. It's all super rough, so I'm not expecting any, uh, any answers. Uh, just sort of, I just want to kind of observe you doing more different kinds of yeah. writing and drawing. This is a pantograph. It is a children's toy, yeah. but it's also a professional design tool. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried to cheat a little bit by adding in slightly more rigid uh, hinges yeah. so that it, it's trying to dampen ah, clever. your movement a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know. Let's try it. First, she Ooh. tries to steady Emma's hand by increasing the drag of the pen. It's actually probably magnifying the shakes. You would think it would dampen it down, but it actually sort of yeah. magnifies it. Let's move on to something much more experimental. Well, it started out with thinking about this phenomenon that happens when a magnet is rolling off an aluminium surface. Okay. So it does weird things like this. Sliding. Because basically an opposing magnetic force is being created around the magnet. So it's just slowing down the slide. Then she uses magnets to create a resistance. You know, if we slide. Can I start over this way a little bit? Or is that yeah, sure. Just, just slide it around. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This, this writing pad comes with me to just, like, hold the magnet underneath. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> OK. Did... What did you say? Don't lift the pad. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of the tests, Emma's control of the pen is still poor. How do we even just begin to help her overcome this particular symptom of her tremors and helping her be able to regain her writing ability, her drawing ability? You know, I, I don't think we're ever going to get that back 100%. You know, my challenge is, is uh, I mean, it's immense. The team are back in London, talking through the ideas to help Parkinson's patient Emma deal with her tremors. Design director, creative director, for goodness sake, and she can't, can't express herself the way that she wants to. It must be so difficult. I think, I think we all would love to support her and, and help her maintain that optimism. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we, we live in a very technological age, but I still carry a pen and paper with me everywhere mm. I go and use it every day. Hi, Anne has been researching what's on the market already for Parkinson's patients. Have you guys recently seen this project um, where someone's made a spoon? It actually counteracts the tremors you get from Parkinson's. So the spoon actually oh, right. vibrates in opposition to how your hand might be shaking. Mm -hmm. And it's, therefore, it is steady. It applies an opposite force to, to, your, to your tremors. So it, it keeps soup on the spoon. E exactly. Yeah.